this nightmare again. Zodiac and Sherry crying. I can't live like this. Why me? Wait here. Oh, Goose. How could I have let this happen? Maybe, if I'd saved you, then everything would have been all right. The doctor had predicted fragmented visions of Zodiac's crimes coming to me in my dreams. Tonight I saw the killer following Sherry to the library, having smoked a cigarette before. I have to write this down. Here I can collect all the clues from my dreams. It's exactly as you said, Doctor. I've been dreaming about the clues to the Zodiac murders. Six months of live dreaming therapy couldn't have not worked. You are ready for the ritual. Have you unpacked Cherry's body yet? Yes, it's in the attic. You should collect all clues regarding Cherry's murder. Start the ritual, and then come and see me. After today, you shall start freeing yourself from the Zodiac. The cure is near, Robert. Are you sure, Doctor? Had enough of those pills. This goddamn doctor is poisoning me. I don't trust these pills completely. I don't trust my doctor or these pills. I'm not going to take them. Like in my darkest dreams, she only wanted to return the books. I can still hear the sound of cards flipping, like a moth's wings beating. The victim had lost her shoe while running away. Monica used to wear those very similar shoes. Her car broke down. What a smart bastard. He was like a spider setting up a web. Terrible memories. This place is full of blood. I can see him leaving the knife in there. It was in the mailbox.
poor thing. She only wanted to return some library books. Mom, I swear she was here. Look, it's her toy, a little horse. I haven't stolen it, I swear. He turned the street lamp off. He wanted to be invisible in the shadows. used the same knife to kill Sherry, and he did it with such brute force, he nearly decapitated her. He wrote this weird poem in memory of the victim. I hear this crying again. Sherry, I will try to help you. I had a dream about that. There was an oil drip just like the one from Zodiac's car. He parked it near Sherry's.
dragged her into a quiet spot. Did he want to hide her body? Good evening, Doctor. Welcome. Well, I think that after half a year of our meetings, you're ready for your first live dreaming session. One last question, though, as per usual. Have you taken your pills? No. I dream of Zodiac even without them. Why do you think you dream of Zodiac and his murders so vividly, even though it has been over six months since you met at Mount Diablo? He tried to kill me, and I spent the last six months digging into his murder cases, so that all I can think of is him. Would you like to say something before you traverse the Cherry's murder scene? I think a lot about my childhood and my father. He was a hunter, you know, and I kept his pistol in a safe at my house. I had it there when Zodiac called. That's one memory that keeps me awake. I won't ask you about your father now. Do you regret not killing Zodiac at Mount Diablo? I didn't intend to kill him. I wanted him in jail. Your father wouldn't tiptoe around him like that. I don't know, Doctor. Enough questions for now, Robert. Let's now try to transport you to Riverside. Choose one of the photos, close your eyes, and slowly count down from ten. Nine. Eight. I recognize this place. It's Riverside. The doctor was right. Live dreaming works. I have a chance to save myself. There might be more tracks like this. Oil stains were left by Zodiac's car. He must have driven this way. Is this the place where Zodiac parked? I'll make a note of that, but I still need more information to determine the exact order of events. I wonder why she left the car unlocked.
I should look deeper to see what's wrong with the car. He cut the cable with something sharp. The evidence seems to show that he had thrown it away nearby. The victim went to the library. Did Zodiac stalk her? This can show me what the proper fuse is. Hmm, the handle is stuck. Maybe the maintenance personnel have got some spare fuses somewhere. Spare fuses, these might help fixing this broken light. Zodiac had to know which lamp to turn off. I should have gotten the insulation off before taping the cable. Let's try it again. Now, this should work when I tape the cable back together. Hopefully the, the killer cut off the ignition, but then what?
love to hunt for my prey. Like Cherry, slim young girl, my little animal. Find the cipher. It will help you solve the mystery. It's here. I follow her and then start the best part. Do you remember? You, your mother and father hunting together. Nice sunny days, but for that constant smell of blood. What did you see? What was I supposed to see? Zodiac and Sherry in the parking lot. Can you tell me more details? That fucker waited for her in his car, and when she left hers, he broke her headlamp when she was gone and messed with her engine, just as I suspected. What do you think is the most important part? He left a cipher for me. He's trying to contact me. It's as if he never stopped sending letters to the paper. I understand. Remember that what you see is a mere dreamy interpretation of what happened. Now I will show you three pictures, and you pick one of them. Take your time choosing. Then, close your eyes and go back to Riverside. Broken glass. Did he escape or enter through a window? Text is not clear. It's engraved. What tool was used to engrave it? Robert. Now I know how to help her. Zodiac could use it for something. One of these might open the library. So that was Zodiac who engraved this poem.
That's how Sherry entered the library, with Zodiac stalking her outside. Zodiac offered her a drink. Where'd he get it? Hmm, I need a coin to buy a drink. That was the drink Zodiac bought her. Your father also waited for your mother, drunk. He used to give her something to drink first, and then beat her senseless. It was his favorite thing. Almost the same like my favorite thing. Soon you'll see what I've done to Cherry. Remember about the cipher. It's here. You're back. You seem disturbed. What did you see? I was at Riverside College. Sherry asked for help, but I didn't know what to do. Zodiac observed her and talked to her in the library. Again, he spoke of my father, of how evil he was, of how he beat my mother and me. We were his victims. But how did Zodiac know that? That's your subconscious speaking. What are you willing to do next? I want to research Zodiac and break his code. I want to know why he's doing all this. I understand that you are still under his spell. If I complete the ritual correctly, I can stop Zodiac, or at least interrupt him. Doing that, I can give Sherry comfort, and maybe even save her soul. It's a beautiful intention, Robert. Aren't you afraid that it is only your own imagination? Look, I'm equally fascinated by Zodiac and reality, and in my imagination, even during our session here. Thank you for your trust. Our session today is about to end. Close your eyes, and one last time, transport yourself to Riverside. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four... Three, two, one.
I should follow those traces. These traces lead me somewhere. Somewhere nearby something... The type of mud that I found on Cherry's shoe. She must have lost the other one nearby. That must be her shoe. Is this his watch? It looks like a part of the belt is missing. Body must be somewhere here. Oh, that's Sherry's body. I should take a closer look. Poor thing. She lost her shoe in the mud. He's brutally cut her throat. If I remember correctly, he's hidden the knife in a mailbox somewhere. She fought until the end and ripped his watch off. Sherry tore this watch off of Zodiac's wrist. The knife should be in one of them. The postman who's delivering death.
Your father had his moments. The walks, fishing. Like me when I took Cherry for a walk. But then she got afraid. Started to run away. Then I played with her. The knife, the screaming. I was so aroused. The cipher? The cipher is somewhere near.